Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to another video. My name is Ashley or Ashley B. Lutz on Instagram. And I decided to pick up my camera today or my phone, I should say, um, and vlog because I haven't done that in a very long time and I want to get a look better. But uh, anyways, today is Saturday, July. Was like, what month is it? July 16th. I knew the date, but not the month. Interesting. <laughs> um, and I just pulled up to the gym to do my back and biceps day and 10 minutes of miss cardio, just 10 minutes on the stairs. And my gym today is actually opening their new sections. I'm pumped. Um, the Iron Plate, Texas, if you live in the Leander area or if you're visiting Leander for whatever reason, uh, it's like north of Austin by like 45 minutes. And you need to come here. It's awesome. I absolutely love this gym. It is the most like home I've ever felt at a gym. So anyways, very excited to see part two. They opened, it's literally, they're doubling their size. So I'm, I'm showing patience right now. <laughs> Vlogging and not I'm just sprinting in there. Cause I've been very excited for this to open. Um, but I wanted to take you along today, uh, for a little Saturday in the life. Um, I actually had the last two days off of work. So this is like, I feel a little bit more recharged than normal for a Saturday because I've, I've had the last couple days off. If you watch my last YouTube video, um, first of all, thank you. The amount of love I received on that and just um, well wishes and positive thoughts, it it really like warmed my heart. Um, and I appreciate anybody who reached out or even just sent positive thoughts. Um, so thank you, but that is a big reason why my husband and I both um, wanted to take some time, you know, the last couple of days just to rest and recharge. And because we're building a house, we're trying not to go crazy on the trips or anything. So we decided a staycation was best. And honestly, that's exactly what I wanted to do with everything going on. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna take you through today because one, I wanna show you the new gym, uh, yay. And then two, um, I'm going to show you guys how I'm structuring my eating today in improvement season when I want to have like a really fun meal. So I don't eat out a ton, but like when I eat out, it's because I want to spend time with like friends and family and enjoy the experience, enjoy the company, but also because the food's worth it. <laughs> you know, like I very rarely will eat food that I'm, I don't want to eat just to like say I ate with somebody. I don't know, like I'll bring my own food. I'm not shy to do that. Um, but today we're going to go to a place called Jew Boy Burgers in Austin, which I've heard really good things about. And I'm going to get a burger without making any modifications. Yes, my husband is going to be pumped because uh, <laughs> he's always like, oh, you're so embarrassing because <laughs> I ask for all the modifications, like no butter, no oil, blah, 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 and no cheese, no dressing on the side. But today we're going full on regular burger with all the fixings that come on it, the regular Jew Boy burger, the original. So that means I've already pre-tracked it. It's very high in fat and I basically tracked that and then structured the rest of my day around it. So I actually got a lot of carbs today, a lot of protein, very little fat. So I didn't show you meal one, but I'll little pop a little screenshot of it. Um, it was just a banana, two pieces of sourdough toast with some laughing cow cheese and some egg whites. Um, seasoned up nicely. So it was actually delicious. I loved it. Honestly, like eggs and bread, man, mm, just can't beat that combo. Um, unless it's a Jew boy burger maybe, but we'll, we'll see about that. So anyways, I'm going to go head into the gym now. Ooh, look at that. Look at that background. The sky's kind of weird today. I don't know if it's going to like storm a little, but I, I hope it does. Also, here's the new bombshell outfit. Yay. I'll show you guys better later, but I really love it. Anyways, Let's go get this back and biceps workout. Okay, walking up to the gym. The excitement's so real. I think I hear people on that side of the gym. I've been waiting for this to open for so long, so let's see if it's open. Okay, here's the original part of the gym. Now if we turn left and it's open. Hi! How's it going? All new. I know, yeah. This looks so nice. It is, yeah. All right, views from the treadmill over here. That's the new area of the gym. I'm doing back and biceps today, so I'll be using this equipment here. But now I want new legs because I want to use the equipment in there. Just got done with the gym. Um, crazy hair and all, and cute little blemish. 
popping up as of yesterday. But anyways, um, the gym was beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. But anyways, heading home to get my post-workout meal. I almost forgot to film. I am eating turkey, fat-free beans, and a couple pieces of sourdough. They're gonna keep being fat low for the burger later. All right, we are on the way to workout number two. I only do to work out sometimes and that's when I go to my newbie new fit sessions with Renee so I freaking love these it's a glute workout and I have loved the new fit I've been going now for oh, I think since like February time frame so been loving it and yeah I am wearing the same outfit actually I didn't change I just took my top off for a second because it's hot um to be exact in my car right now, it says, okay, it says 84 degrees. <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. I thought it was a little bit hotter, but it's pretty hot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drive over there. I'm gonna sip on my pretty workout on the way. It's 1020 now, so I'll get there around like 1050. I'll start sipping this around like, I don't know, 1030. But it's the, it's the Bomar non-stim pre-workout with a little bit of bit alanine in here. Uh, as well from Bomar Nutrition. Um, code Ashley gets you $5 off of 50. And highly recommend their non stem pre. I love it. I think it helps with focus and just like stamina. Um, <laughs> and my husband's so funny. He's like, you need help with focus in the gym. Just focus. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like it, it just, it helps you zone in. He's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I still think so. Um, see you later. I might put some clips. We shall see. We love a throwback. Justin Timberlake is my favorite. Okay. I'm done. Done with my newbie. It was a really good workout. Uh, we did, we started off with isolation. Usually we start off with the compound, but we did cable kickbacks, um, hip thrusts. We did a rep and a half reps <laughs> and then went to leg press and then kettlebell swings. So it was good. It was really good. I felt, I, I felt them. It felt real good. <laughs> um, so a little, a little sweaty now and ready to go back. And I think, well, I'm definitely going to shower. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to shower. I'm going to shower. And I'm debating on if I eat first and then go to Jew Boy or if I go to Jew Boy and then go eat. Because I have two more meals excluding the burger so i think i'll probably eat and then go to to you boys well, i'm gonna head out that felt it was a really good workout very happy with that i always am renee's awesome so gotta grow those glutes well that was just frightening um i was driving on the highway and all of a sudden like i heard something um like something got I got my tire popped or something. Again, I <laughs> pulled over. Um, so I got off the highway and somebody was like pointing to my tire. And I was like, thank you. I know I hear something. I don't know what it is. So I pulled over as soon as I could. And <laughs> a branch got stuck on the undercarriage of my car. And it was dragging. And strangely enough, that actually happened. Like that exact situation happened to me the first, like I think, first week maybe the second day I had my car and it was actually a metal rod got stuck in my undercarriage it freaked me the heck out I thought it was part of the car at first because I didn't like it was a new car I was like well, what is this metal piece coming from my car again I thought it was coming from the car not that it was lodged into it but in the same exact situation but that was a tree branch that was very scary and I noticed that my tire pressure light wasn't going off so I was like okay hopefully I didn't pop a tire because I have also done that and that that was really scary I could I could tell when that happened um so my car was like going plunk, 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 like as I was driving but oof, all right oh, thought it was just a branch <laughs> okay now that was enough excitement for today Get me to burgers. <laughs> I realized I never showed the fit. Very cute. I'll put a picture. You probably already did. Because, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Didn't show you. <sighs> okay. 
Hang on, I'm gonna make food first. Executive decision. Back home, and that was so good. Jewboy Burger is awesome. The service was so good. Well, the owner was there, and he's actually the one taking the orders. And he gave us free drinks and upgraded our queso to a chips and queso for free. And he's doing that for everybody online, online, in line. Um, so that was really nice. Um, service was just awesome. prepping some of this food that I got. So I saw something really cool on Instagram from Rachel Mansfield that if you do like a basically a salt water bath, cold salt water bath for five minutes for your berries, um, that really helps clean them. So I'll do that and then I will get a strainer and like wash them off. So then they don't taste salty. Uh, then I always brine and bake my chicken. So it's in a salt water bath as well. It will be there for 30 minutes, five minutes. Um, I took out the last of my mushrooms, which were cut up and put in here after I washed them. And then the rest of my strawberries, my old strawberries, I baggied them up so that I could pretty soon wash these off the same way I'm doing the blueberries, um, cut the tops off and store them in here. These food storage things have been so awesome. You can see it has like, if you need to open the, if you need to put water in them, if you need to open the airflow vent, the airflow vent on the side so I keep it up for the berries and then for the mushrooms then I'll put the blueberries in here so you can see I have a couple sizes but I've been obsessed with all the berries lately and I love putting mushrooms in my pasta but yeah so I'm gonna do that and then it is 528 hello clearly showered oh 529 um, and I am going to probably eat in like an hour after husband gets home from the gym. Honestly, so impressed with him that he's going to the gym after we ate those, that burger. Yeah, I'm glad I got my workout done earlier today. Um, so I'm gonna get to prep and this will make, I wasn't going to do this until tomorrow, but then I was like, ah, I have zero chicken made. So I kind of want to get that done and made. So I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll also, I'll do a little bit more food prep, but mostly food assembling it kinda uh, for my husband's meals. Cause I do pack him like lunches, basically we work work from home, but I pack him lunches so he can just heat it up and go about his day. Um, nice wife. And then I make him fend for himself for dinner. <laughs> he likes a variety. I don't, so it's my meal prep's easy. Cause I just eat the same thing all the time. And like I can eat chicken for my protein every meal a day. And he's like, no, like I need something else. It's just like, I'm bored of it. Like a very normal human being would be. I'm just an absolute weirdo, I think sometimes. So yeah, team same meals every day. Um, keeps things so easy. I oh, I just don't care during the workday. Just give me my food, let me move on. And I wanna fuss with it. So that's also another reason why same meals just works for me very well. I'm going to get back to this and see you for dinner. Hello, it is the next day. I wanted to go ahead and wrap up this video with a little synopsis of what my husband and I did last night and just a quick update on where I'm at with my improvement season because I realized I didn't quite address that. Um, so one, we just, my husband and I chilled out and watched Mission Impossible 4 last night. Um, didn't do a whole lot, just finished up dinner and then chilled. Um, which by the way, um, so after that burger, I chugged like a lot of water because I knew it was a lot of like higher sodium than I normally would eat. So chugged the water, um, was feeling like, well, like a water buffalo because I was drinking so much water, but interesting enough. Um, I peed all last night, first of all, because I drank so much water. The second, I actually woke up to a new Sunday low. So, hello. Hello. Okay, <laughs> grocery pickup guy came. So, I actually got my uh, Whole Foods and my HEB orders this morning. 
yay. But as I was saying, I actually woke up to a new Sunday low today, which was really kind of crazy to me. And I'm not going for low weights right now, but like even for when I was cutting, this is a Sunday low. So I do the same things every day of the week. So like consistently my weight is up certain days and down certain days, but yeah, low Sunday weigh in. So that transitions me into my improvement season update. I, right now we're, we're reverse dieting um so meaning i'm slowly decreasing cardio and increasing food in terms of cardio uh the highest i got to in my cut was two sessions of hit high intensity interval training two two sessions a week each session contained eight rounds of 20 second sprints in a minute and 40 like you know not sprinting <laughs> so that got cut down to six immediately, six rounds between like in those individual two sessions. Now, as of last week, uh, one of those sessions got cut. So I only have one hit session a week and the other session was turned into a moderate intensity steady state for 10 minutes after my workout. So, you know, on the other side of, at the end of my cut on top of the two hit sessions a week, I was doing three miss sessions for 10 minutes a session uh after three of my workouts so now where i'm currently at is the one hit session for six intervals um and then four miss sessions for 10 minutes after my workouts so i mean very manageable lifting is the exact same calorie wise um during my cut i had two very high days like 2700 calories and then five low days of it's like the high 1800s and now I'm at like so I actually Jamie was gonna put me at all the same days but I actually asked to have my two high days back and she's like okay you know I usually don't do that but like that's fine we can do that because it's not gonna be detrimental or anything because I was enjoying kind of the flexibility of some of those higher macro meals um, communication with your coach people um, but anyways those days are not nearly as high as they were because they were 2700 now they're like 2300 and something like 2350 then my low days i think are like 2150 or something like that i can't remember the exact amounts because jamie basically she has access to my fitness pal, my my fitness pal and she goes in like logs in and sets my macros for me so which i really like because i like very rarely know my macros which is a good thing i think because i'm really not fixated on them but yeah so I feel like I'm at a very comfortable, like, eating range where I can fit, I mean, you saw I fit a burger in yesterday, um, which, by the way, I don't consider a cheat meal. That's just, like, that's, it fits my macros, it's, it's fine. It's an estimated meal, which, you know, ideally I'm going to give my coach accurate information so that she can make accurate adjustments, but it, it's also a balance of to have a little bit of life, um, a little bit of freedom, flexibility. That's the point of flexible dieting. I won't be eating out once a day. Cause again, I want to give my coach accurate information, but you know, once a week, every once in a while, no sweat. Like that's, that's fine. Uh, but when it comes to prep, that won't be the case. I will be on point, but right now I think it is important for me to practice that flexibility. But anyways, anyways, um, that's a little recap of where I'm at with my reverse diet. My weight has been very, very stable over the last month since I, you know, stopped my cut. A month and a week, I think, since. So, that's cool. And we'll see what my blood work comes back with. Hopefully next week or the week after. We'll, see, we'll go from there. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one.